Hello guys, it's Melly Simish and welcome to another video where today we are celebrating The Sims 21st anniversary. So, um, February 4th marked 21 years of The Sims. Um, but strangely enough, we are not really getting anything for the 21st until, um, February 25th. I'm not sure why, but, um, yeah. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you know that The Sims 20th anniversary, which is a pretty big deal, um, last year was a little bit of a fiasco. They didn't really do anything for it. They just released a hot tub and everyone was pretty disappointed. So I think they may have learned their lesson um, this year. So yeah, we don't quite know what they're going to do to celebrate it, but I thought I would have my own kind of celebration. Um, and I thought I would kind of do a little bit of a build challenge for myself, which is to make a house with only 21 items. Um, so I don't know, maybe this has sort of been done before, maybe like an item limit. Um, but my kind of approach to this was I excluded the build catalog. So the 21 items does not include like doors and windows and fences and roofing and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's only really the buy catalogue, but I have also excluded lights and curtains because, um, I don't know, I just didn't want to sort of include them. I didn't want the house to be dark and I do like that kind of realistic feel. Maybe that's considered cheating, I don't know, but it's my own challenge, so those were my rules. Um, so yeah, I decided to stick with 21 items of the buy catalog. So I did make a tiny home because 21 items is not a lot at all. And um, so you can see that here, it is 64 out of 64 tiles. Um, it comes in at about 22,000 um, simoleons. So it's maybe just above a starter home, especially as you could probably only fit one sim in here. In fact, there's even just a single bed because I just didn't have enough room, but if you did want to download it, it is on the gallery. My origin ID is maddyj1996, which is always written in the description of my videos. Um, and yeah, I actually built this in Newcrest, so that's why you probably don't see any lots around it, but it's one of the sort of smaller um, lot sizes, so you could probably put it anywhere if you do want to download it. Um, so it's got a little bit of a modern feel. Um, we can say minimalist because there's kind of hardly anything in it. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun at building it. Um, I was actually pretty happy with how it turned out. And I've done this kind of style um, many times in my builds before where I've kind of got an upstairs, which is a little bit smaller. And then you can kind of get a ladder up there. Um, I really like that. I think it's quite a cute style um, and it's quite good when space is a bit limited as well. So yeah, just got that little small area for the bedroom. I did playtest this build as well. So um, the Sims can sort of reach everything, which is good. And um, I mean, that's the thing when you're only sort of playing with 21 items, you can't really clutter it up so much. So yeah, it's perfectly usable. Um, so the bedroom is just a single bed, a wardrobe and a mirror, I believe. Um, and then downstairs in the bathroom, we have a bin, a sink, a toilet and a shower. Um, the kitchen is one counter space, a fridge, an oven, a plant, a because that's essential to me, um, a fire alarm and did I say sink? And a sink. Um, and then the for the sort of dining table, I've just sort of um, put a bench out in front of the house. Um, so one of those kind of picnic benches. Um, and then for the living room, we have that's probably the most sort of decorated area of the house um, because I actually had sort of a couple of items to spare. So I was able to put a rug and some artwork as well as um, a sofa, a TV stand, a TV and a bookcase I think that's pretty much um everything maybe one or two things I might have missed um but yeah that's essentially where we're at so yeah it's obviously very small it is counting as a tiny home um it's even sort of like I say it's 64 tiles but it's a lot smaller than that it's just that kind of front patio area brings it up to 64 tiles but I did really want that um, just so that I could put that kind of bench for the dining table. 
Um, but yeah, I decided to keep it very sort of clean with light colors and then the furniture with a little bit um, like pop of color. So I used a lot of um, parenthood and tiny living as well because I really like the furniture items that we got that pack. Um, so yeah, I just at the end wanted to kind of talk about the 21st anniversary because like I said, they haven't actually said what they're going to be doing, but they have announced that they are teaming up with 21 custom content creators. Um, which is very exciting because there are many times where I think that custom content creators actually create better things um, than is actually in the Sims game. So that's exciting. I don't know what it's going to be. They haven't sort of explicitly said the 21 creators that they are partnering with, but some have kind of given hints that they're involved. And I know one creator... Um, does body hair which I find really interesting and I'm wondering if we might get kind of a cast overhaul which I would love um my main priority would be the ability to lock hair and makeup looks for all categories because we got that in the sims 3 and it's sorely missed um but yeah I guess we will see uh, we will find out on February 25th unless we get a bit more information before that but yeah we come to the end of the video and I hope that you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye!